Okay, next three minute game, playing as white. Developing the knight as usual, just capturing through the centre, all simplified. Attacking the king, knowing the pawn's coming down, so it's um, just blocking off the passageway for the knight coming to that particular square. So it's a quite a nice manoeuvre if you're into that sort of stuff. Bishop attacks the knight, castle attacking the knight, all simple stuff. Small piece attacking a higher piece, and now the queen is in the game. Just keeping the bishop on that diagonal, looking to really come back and maybe just take that knight off the board if it's still there. No, it's still there, so it's uh, it's moved now. So now putting pressure onto the bishop. The knight comes through, does a little fancy jump, but I'm thinking, well, it's just a simple case of taking the bishop off the board. We're on their queen, and we do have many pieces on his knight, so we could take the knight off the board and just grab and look for an exchange. Improving the position on the board as best possible as far as I can see and he's looking for maybe attacking the pawn down on the bottom here But the queen is there, so he's protecting Anyway, let's touch on it Moves the knight out of the way So now we can reposition our knight. We're trying to look to see if we can maybe own this file here um, He's bringing his queen off so he can look to own it here. Oh, but he's attacking our queen and I believe even I thought that that was a kind of a blunderous move because we can look to go and exchange the queen off. And they do actually capture, so we're owning the key file with the rook, also attacking a pawn. So we're grabbing a piece. And the knight's coming around, but then our knight can come up, putting pressure onto the pawn at the side of the king, uh, also attacking this free pawn here. And the knight drops down, is looking to attack our pawn on the bottom, but the rook is actually protecting. Gage bar's going crazy for us at the minute, but it's not set in stone that there's a victory here. We still have to jostle. And so we can bring the knight back now, just looking to see whether or not we block off his rook from owning the file. Obviously, he's attacking with this pawn, so bringing the knight through. Might have been, I know it's got a star move here, but as I did the move, I thought, well, why are you bringing your knight all the way over there? But it does have a check on the king, potentially, and it can, it can escape, so it's not trapped. So the king brings his king down, so we do have an escape square, and we can capture this pawn here. And the element of time obviously makes people do certain things. I mean, even for me, you know, you're under pressure of time, you, you make the duff move because you think, oh, I just need to make a move to make a move. King comes down, so we've got a space to jump back again. I was always wary of actually trapping my knight. I didn't want to trap my knight. Bringing the knight right back now out of the way so now we can attack his knight his knight is trapped so it has to basically sacrifice itself so we grabbed so now just looking to keep it all simple and straightforward just supporting pieces as best possible putting check on the king grabbing putting a check on the king again just trying to keep it simple pushing the pawn up king grabs moving the knight out of the way just keep moving upwards, just trying to disturb as many pieces as possible until they capitulate or they run out of time and their time was running down. So positionally now we're looking fairly good that we can now start pushing the pawns up. Yeah, we had a few blunder marks on those pawn moves but I didn't have any problems with them at all. The position was fairly okay for us. We've got pawns on either side of the board. The king can't really protect against all of them. So we are going to get a few queens if we need to. And at this point here, the opponent's uh, time ran out. But I think it was um, looking to be a checkmate at some stage. So that's where we're at with that one. That was an interesting game in its own right. 